Hello, I'm Becca, designer on Computer Arts, and I'm going to show you how to use the new pattern swatch tool in Adobe Illustrator CS6. First of all, when you open up Illustrator, you'll notice that the interface has changed. If you don't like this, then you can change it in your preferences. Illustrator preferences, user interface, and then here you have an option to have it lighter or darker. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Right, to start our pattern swatch, I have prepared some objects uh, that I want as my base. I select my objects and then go to objects, pattern, make. You'll notice that around your pattern there's some copies that gives you like, are there to show you how your pattern will look. We want to work on the pattern so I go to dim copies on my pattern option panel and turn it down to 40. This way I can work within the pattern, I can see it clearly and if I want to go back to see how it will look overall I can just change it back to 100. So I'll leave it as 40 for now. I now want to add some colour to my pattern and change some bits and bobs around. The pattern swatch is fully editable when you're in this mode until you save, save it and add it to your swatches palette. So if I just change some colours. And a few extra bits. And then when I think I'm happy with my pattern, I want to see how it looks. I just turn my dim copies off, and then you get a sort of overall feel of how that pattern's going to look. You then go to save and copy at the top and name your new pattern. So I call this one folk. And it tells me that the pattern has been added to the swatches panel. And you then click done. And it brings us back to the original screen. I'm now going to test out my pattern on a shape. So That's how my pattern looks at the moment. I'm not happy with the pattern, I'd like to change it and add some more colour. So all I need to do is double click on the swatch and it brings us back into pattern editing mode. I'm going to add a bit more colour. Oh, we're still in the swatch, let's change that to pink. Send that to the back, and I might change the position of uh, one of these trees. What you will notice is that parts of the object that extend outside of my tile automatically wrap back in on the other side, so keeping everything nice and tidy. Now that I'm happy, I click done and as you can see it's changed my swatch automatically. I'm now going to apply this swatch to some templates that I set up earlier. See how it looks. And there we go, that's my pattern swatch. I'm happy with that. Um, and you can yeah, you can spend ages trying out all different sort of patterns for all 
sorts of products. Uh, simple as that. Okay, thanks, bye!